So I'm going to show you how to create this pulley system that you see on the screen. It's uh, just a few parts, but it is something that we haven't done in a while. And there's some new constraints that we'll have to work with as well. So the first thing you have to do is get the files, right? And then what we'll do is we'll start a new assembly. So standard.iam, we'll start right there. And we're going to go to place, and then we just need to kind of find our files. So I've got that file on my desktop. So I'm going to go out to desktop, find that file folder that's got them there. And it looks like I'm going to start with a 1 by 8 beam. So I'm going to pull that up and just place it. So remember, I can right click and say OK. So let's see, what else do I need to put in there? I'm going to go with the axles next. So let me do that. Let's place and let's find those axles. That looks like this one right here, the 2 inch shaft. OK, so I'm going to put, I know I need one here and, and one here. Okay, and then let's see what else. Pulleys, so I got the big pulley and the little pulley. So I'll go back up to place. I'm gonna look down at pulleys. There's a 40 millimeter pulley and a 10 millimeter pulley. So I'm gonna pull the 10 in, right click and say okay, and then I'm gonna place and I'll get that 40 millimeter pulley. I'm gonna right click and say okay. So I'm gonna take a look here. It looks like I've got an axle going through the end the end hole and then on this it looks like through the third I've got one there too. Alright so let's take a look. I'm gonna move some things out of my way. All I'm doing is clicking and dragging them out of the way. Then I'm gonna go up to constraint and I'm gonna say mate which is the default right. So I'll click the axis and the axis and I'll click apply. So now those two axes are mated together. Now I'm gonna use a flush and I'll get the end here the end of this axle and I'll flush it with just the side of this beam here so anywhere here okay now that I want to use an offset here I'm probably gonna say let's try a negative 0.5 let's go with negative 1 I like that now I'm gonna do the same steps with this over here right so I'm gonna mate the axis go back to mate right mate that to right here and apply it. Then I'm going to use the flush constraint. So I'm going to get the ends and the side here. And remember, we said negative one. All right, then I'll apply. So now I've got those just about where they need to be. All right, so I'm going to mate and I'm going to put the little pulley on here and apply. And let's go ahead and get this thing constrained fully. I'll go ahead and use a flush constraint here. I'll see the end of that needs to be there, right? And apply it. And let's go do the same thing. So we'll follow the same procedures. I need to mate. So I got to mate. Let's zoom in here a little bit so I can show you what's going on. I want to get this axis here, right? So I'm going to mate this axis, the center one, to right here and hit apply. And the same concept as before, I gotta, I've got to flush that, right? So flush here to here and click apply. Let's see how we turned out there. All right. I need to make these axles look right. If, you, if we take a look right here, can we see right there that that one, that's all crooked in there, right? That's not how that thing works. So before I can get going too crazy with that, I need to make sure that I ground apart. I'm going to take on that 1 by 8 beam. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go down and say grounded. Okay, so now I should be able to turn these things. All right, these both turn. The axles also turn. The problem is, is there's, there's no constraint that keeps those, keeps the pulley and the axle together. So I'm going to deal with that. So now I'm going to come in here. I'll go with constraint. There's a couple ways to do this, but I'm just going to use, you know what, let's, let's use an angle constraint. So I'm going to say angle and use direct solution right here. I'm going to say I want that side to be even with that. So you see it turned it for me, and that's okay. I'm going to hit apply. Now watch, I'm going to grab this, and then we exit out of constraint. I'm going to grab that, and now the, the pulley and the axle turn together, right? I need to do that same thing here, because right now, these two things are independent of each other, right? That's no good. 
So I need to fix that. So I'll go to constraint. I'm going to say angle again. Use direct solution. Click the top and then here. Now let's apply that. We'll see what we get. Yeah, these things turn together. Okay, so now what I need to do is put a motion on that. But if I look right here, that did not turn out well, did it? So let's fix that. I mean, that's just not right. So I'm going to undo my last constraint. All right. And I can check that. I can go to the 40 millimeter pulley here and I can see what constraints are on there. So there's a couple ways to handle this. I think what I'm going to do is hit constraint again. And I'm going to use an angle and I'll direct it. And this time I'm going to back out here. And I'm just going to say for angle one, I want this side here, right? And then I'll come back out here. And I want to get inside that pulley. So for side two, I'll click in two and I'll, I'll just say right here. And that squared up a lot better. And I'll hit apply. Make sure the solution still says directed though, right? Okay, so now what I can do is when I turn this, and let's zoom in so you can actually see this happening. When I turn this, the axle is moving as well. So these two are together, okay? So now we need to put a relationship between the two so that when I grab this one, this one turns as well. So I'm gonna go up to constraint, and I'm gonna say motion. And I'm gonna say I want the end here so I'm clicking on the end of that axle against the end here. And I can choose, do I want them to oppose each other like a gear, or do I want them to go the same direction like a pulley would here? So I'll just choose that and I'll say apply. So now let's exit that. And if I turn this, notice they're both going, right? So I've tied these two pulleys together, okay? And that's how it's done.